Hi all, thanks for joining me today. Candace Gillespie here from CandaceCanvases.com. This is Cards Cards Monday. Today I am going to come in a few stamp sets, a few um, framelit sets um, to make a fun homecoming card for my friend who just bought a new house. So uh, first I'm gonna start with some Whisper White cardstock and our holiday home photopolymer stamp set. Now I'm going to use this middle house here. I wanted to show you with my photopolymer stamp sets. I'm trying this system. I'm mounting them in the box the same way the cover shows. So I kind of know where they're, which stamp is which. Anyway, so I am using my Many Marvelous Markers. Yes, I just got them. Yay, finally, stamp and write markers. <laughs> to color the house in the different shades that I would like. And I think I'm using Tempting, or... Uh, can't remember. This is Cajun Craze, I know, for the roof. <laughs> Soft suede I used for the door and the outline of the house, and I think I used Island Indigo for the windows. And I'm stamping that down on some Whisper White cardstock, giving it a little huff to re-moisten it. Okay. Now, I love the way it stamped out but I wanted to give it some shadows so I'm using my aqua painter to just kind of draw the color out of the marker lines um, and it's kind of like all aligned toward the left there is where all the shading is Then I'm taking some extra soft suede ink to <laughs> sorry about that to fill in some blank spots and I'm using some Mossy Meadow Classic Stampin' ink and the Pine Tree from the same stamp set. Stamping three of those, just full strength. Okay, now I'm switching to the Wondrous Wreath Photopolymer stamp set and using Hello Honey, come here baby, Hello Honey to stamp it down first. I saw on the back there, I tried it in a different color, but I decided on a different color scheme. Come here, Samuel. Maybe nap time. <laughs> and then I'm, ha I'm using some Tangelo Twist for the accent leaves. Oh, that Hello Honey, I think, stamped a little bit darker because I didn't clean the um, former color off of it, but that's okay. Now I'm also coming back to Mossy Meadow, tying in the colors here to ink up my berries for the wreath. Now notice all the tabs on my photopolymer stamp sets are pointing up. Now I'm bringing my Big Shot die cutting machine. It's time to cut out some um, images. First is the Holiday Home Framelits die that I'm cutting out my house with. If you buy the stamp set and the framelits, you bundle and save 15%. So that was the item for that. Next, I'm gonna use the wonderful wreath framelit dies. This also is in a bundle where you can save 15% if you buy the stamp set and the framelits together. And there is one item number for the set. Now I'm aligning the tabs of the framelits up at the top because my stamp tabs were aligned up at the top. So that makes it super easy. <laughs> Just peel it out. I love how this works. It's like magic. <laughs> Excuse me, a little sneeze. Now I'm going to fussy cut these three trees out. Don't worry, you don't have to watch me through the whole thing. <laughs> Movie magic, I'm almost done now. You want to sit on my lap? Uh, oh, go get it. Go play. Go get it. No. Okay, using my stamp and trimmer here to cut Ow. out, to cut out um, a couple layers of Whisper White cardstock, uh. measuring three and seven eighths by five uh. and one eighths. Look here. Now I'm using Tangelo Twist cardstock and cutting this to five and one quarter by four inches. So this will be the bottom. This will be actually the middle layer. The Whisper White will be the top layer. And then the craft card stock will be the, the card base. So I stamped from the same um, photopolymer stamp set, the one Holiday Home, the sentiment, and then using my word window and my modern label punches to punch out some card stock. 
gluing that on with um, some Tombow Mono Multipurpose Glue onto the Tangelo Twist cardstock. Now I'm rounding all Mama. corners um, of all four Mama. corners. Shh, baby. All four corners. Baby. Shh, hold on. I'm recording. Sorry, guys. Um, surrounding all four corners of both of these layers. And then I glued the white layer on top of the Tangelo Twist. And now it's time to set this up. So I put, loaded the back of the wreath with Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm kind of aligning that to the left top, I guess you can say. A little more top than aligned to the left. Hope that makes sense. And then I put a Stampin' Dimensional in the center of this, of the wreath, because I know one side of this sentiment is going to be overlap on there and then I put glue on the part that's just going to lie right on the leaf. Then I'm using uh, some ribbon uh, to tie around. Now this is a different color. I can't remember what color uh, this is but it's, it's it's discontinued but the closest is going to be the Tangelo Twist or the Pumpkin Pie which will work just fine and this isn't, it's not Tangelo Twist either which is a new um, in color using my craft scissors to slice through that ribbon. Okay, now I'm gonna mount on my holiday home and I'm putting some adhesive where it's gonna um, lie on to the wreath and then some dimensionals where it's lying onto the cardstock. And then I am snipping up my dimensionals so that I have little pieces and using my paper piercing tool <laughs> to put that in, um, Stampin' Dimensionals on my trees. Do you want some water? No. And then removing the backing and then putting those trees on there. Okay, once those trees are down, I am going to adhere that to the card base, which is just a standard size um, four and a quarter by five and a half card base. Then using my bone folder to crease that edge really well. Loaded the back up with Stampin' Dimensionals and adhered that down center on my card base. Now notice that I did not round the corners of my card base. If you want to do that, then that's totally fine. <laughs> so I am combining two different sentiment stamps from the Holiday Home Stamp Set. One says, so happy, wait, one, I'm using happy from one and then so and for you from another. So um, this stamp and write markers really make that easy to do. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, adhere that to the Tangelo Twist, another Tangelo Twist layer of cardstock. And um, before I adhere that to the card base, I am going to use some of my scrap ribbon and use a glue dot to fold it in half. And then put two more glue dots on it, one on either side, and kind of tuck that in between the Whisper White layer and the Tangelo Twist layer. Okay, then I'm going to glue this down into my card. Once I'm done fidgeting with it, that is. <laughs> okay. There we go, gluing it into the card. <laughs> and then just a final touch, a couple final touches, um, is I where the ribbon is, I just put a little more glue on there around where the card base was sticking up a little bit. I noticed after I used my bone folder that it wasn't adhered very well in, in that corner. So just a tiny little bit more glue. And then I also put my personalized name step on the back, which I didn't, I, I edited that out of the video. So that's the card I'm going to give to my friend Kristen and her new and her family. She has four kids and her husband are moving into a new house. And I just adore them. 
So notice in the picture though that I did use the Stampin' Right markers to kind of refinish the lines. It just looked like I spilled water on it and that wasn't very attractive. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by. Uh, thanks for liking this video and subscribing to my channel and visit CandiceCanvases.com for more fun. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.